What's going on guys? JB Tech here back with another video and I have been gone for quite a quite a while, a couple days. Um but I'm back now. So, uh there's going to be a quick little jailbreak on how to jailbreak iOS 5 again, but with the updated Red Snow, which is 0.9.9b8, which is the updated version. It's the newest version out right now of Red Snow. And this also works for the new iOS beta that's out right now, which is a 5.0.1 that's only available for developers at the moment. So be aware this is just a tether jailbreak still. And you can also check out a written how-to on this. I will have this up on senseiphone.com and I'll leave it down there in the description below. So first what we have to do is download Red Snow and it's going to be the updated version which is the 0.9.9b8 version. I'll leave the link down in the description bar and it's going to be at the Sense iPhone page. So go ahead and check that senseiphone.com page and you can download your Mac or Windows version of Red Snow. So once you do have it downloaded we'll go ahead and open it up and then we'll tap on jailbreak. And then right here it does say to plug in or make sure your iPhone is plugged in and also turned off. So mine is plugged in as you see here. And then we'll go ahead and turn it off. So we'll hold down the power button on top. And then we'll turn it off. My iPhone's a little smudgy and stuff. I need to clean it up. <laughs> but once that is turned off, We'll go ahead and get going with this process. Okay, now my phone is off and it is plugged in like I showed you right now. So what we have to do now is on this screen right here, we'll just, um, we can leave it on this screen right now. And then what we'll do on the phone, we'll go ahead and hold down the power button for three seconds. And then we'll hold down the home button and the power button for 10 seconds. And then we'll let go of the power button while we're still holding down the home button for about like eight seconds and then it'll get going. What this does, it puts your iPhone or whatever you're jailbreaking into DFU mode. So that's what we'll have to do. So we can just get started. So let's go ahead and hold down the power button for three seconds. So one, two, three, and then your home button while you're still holding down the power button for 10 seconds. Okay, then you let go of the power button while you're still holding down the home button. And then once you do see this white screen that's about to pop up, well, as you see on the screen, it did go ahead and skip that other process. The The next screen, what it was, was the little instructions on how to do it. So you can actually do it from the screen we just did it on. You know, automatically skip that screen. So as you see, my screen did turn white and everything and that's normal don't panic and then as you see on the computer it now it says patching up and all that stuff and it did read my firmware as you see right here it says iPhone 3 comma 1 iPhone 3 is the iPhone 4 so and then the firmware 5.0 and then we'll just make sure we have install Cydia checked so make sure you have it checked once you do that Go ahead and hit next. And then now we'll process. And as you see your phone, it does, it's gonna, it's gonna go through a little quick process of code and all that good stuff. So we'll just sit here and wait till it's done. Alright guys, as you see, it is done. So we'll go ahead and slide to unlock. And as you see, we do scroll over to the right and Cydia is not going to be able to open yet. We still have another step to do. So what we got to do now is go ahead and turn it off again. And then we will have to do the just boot method, which is what you will always have to do whenever you your battery dies or your phone just completely like messes up or something and you have to reboot for some reason this is the process you will ha always have to do because 
this is a tether jailbreak and that's what tether means every time your phone dies your phone restarts or something you will be stuck in the apple logo so you will have to connect it to a computer and run redstone and use the just boot feature so what we got to do now is go ahead and open up redstone again and then we will go down here to extras and then we'll go right here where it says just boot and then your phone is already plugged in as it was and then your phone is off so because we already did that so as you see on screen that's what it's telling you to plug in your phone and make sure it's turned off so now what we have to do is that process again the steps where you hold down the power button for three seconds and then the home button and the power button for 10 seconds and then just let go of the power button while you're still holding down the home button for about eight seconds so we'll go ahead and do that so let's start one two three now for 10 seconds now you let go of the power button and you keep holding down the home button for about eight seconds and there you go and as you see on the screen it is exploiting with lime rain you can let go now I mean if you are still holding down the home button but now there's a white screen that pops up All right, well, I just skipped that just so y'all have to sit through that real quick. And then now as your phone does turn back on, we'll go ahead and slide to unlock. And then we will scroll over. And now as you see, Cydia does come up as a little icon. So go ahead and open up Cydia. And then it's going to prepare file system. This will take a couple seconds. So I'll just go ahead and uh, fast forward this real quick. Okay, after Cydia did its thing right now, go ahead and slide it again to unlock and then go back to Cydia. And then now you get this screen and then you can either choose user, hacker, or developer. If you don't know what you're doing, whenever you install all these tweaks and everything, just go ahead and tap on user. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll just use user for now. So we'll go ahead and tap on user and then hit done on the top right. And then now you get the welcome to Cydia screen. So there you go guys. Uh, you've been officially jailbroken. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that little like button on the bottom left and then if you have any questions or comments leave them down there in the comment section below I'll get I, I'll try to reply as soon as I can usually I reply within minutes a couple hours maybe but I will do my best to reply quickly and also hit that little subscribe button right up top if you want videos like this I do come out with iOS 5 jailbreaks and tweaks if you want to go ahead and check the other videos out feel free to do so and yeah guys um that's about it for this video guys and i'll catch you on the next video